Hello, this is Dr. Eric Peterson. Uh, we're going to go through a uh, case number 9220 and talk about some of the findings on the non contrast head CT. Uh, we will also talk about some CTA findings uh, in the next video. So please also watch that one. Uh, for the discussion of the CTA. Anyway, the non-contrast head CT, this is a patient uh, who presented with uh, left-sided uh, stroke symptoms. And uh, this is the non-contrast head CT. So we have the standard non-contrast head CT configuration with axial reconstructions and soft tissue algorithm and bone algorithm and then coronal and sagittal soft tissue algorithm reconstructions. So the first thing we're going to do is assess the cerebral hemispheres for symmetry, and we're going to look at the differentiation of the gray and white matter densities throughout both cerebral hemispheres. And uh, if we do a thorough examination uh, of those findings, the cerebral hemispheres do look symmetric in appearance. There's preservation of the normal gray-white differentiation on both sides, particularly with reference to the cerebral cortex on both sides, and even the deep gray structures. You can see here's the head of the caudate nuclei. They look symmetric. Here are the putamina. They look symmetric. And then the bilateral thalami. Uh, also the insular ribbon. Uh, you can see here the differentiation in the gray and white matter on both sides. Now, the pertinent finding in this case is there's this linear area of hyperdensity uh, down here in the right temporal region, uh, it's linear, uh, it looks extra axial, uh, and this is actually uh, hyperdensity within the proximal portion of the right middle cerebral artery. You can see for reference, here's portions of the left middle cerebral artery, uh, and the basal artery are not nearly that dense. Uh, as this right middle cerebral artery. So this is a hyperdense right MCA sign. Uh, it is the earliest findings of stroke that we can see on a head CT. And it's an indication that there's actually clot or thrombus sitting in the artery itself. So uh, hyperdense right MCA, there's still preservation of the gray uh, and white matter differentiation. There's no mass effect. There's no edema. The ventricular system is normal. The basal cisterns are patent. The posterior fossa looks normal. There's no skull abnormality. And uh, the extracranial structures also look good. So hyperdense right MCA, early findings of right MCA territory, acute stroke. And in the next video, we'll discuss the uh, cerebral angiogram, how to look at that, uh, and then the pertinent findings uh, that shows occlusion in the area of this thrombus.